Radio Free Pensacola, Phil Thomas Cat here. And on the phone with me is radio legend Jim Golden. How you doing tonight, Jim? Phil, I am well. Thank you, man. It's so nice to talk to you again. Very cool. I mean, I'm enjoying playing your music tonight. I've got some tracks lined up, you know, that you recently sent me. And I'm I'm excited about your music and, and your progress, man. I'd like to see you do a lot more of this stuff. Well, I really appreciate that. It's uh, been a passion of mine, you know, most of my life. But uh, I, uh, it, it gives me just something to do. You know, it keeps me from, uh, I, I guess, keeps me out of trouble these days. <laughs> I hear you. Um, well, tell me this. Tell me this. When did you start working in music? Did, have you always been musically inclined, or did radio lead you that way? What happened there? No, I actually uh, developed a guitar. Uh, desire to play the guitar when I was about six years old, and uh, I got my first guitar when I was seven. Uh, I never had any formal music training. I just simply was fortunate enough to have a very good ear. If I could hear something, I could play it. And I grew up playing in church and, uh, and you know, with, with friends and things like that. And recording is just something that developed. When I was in when I was in college, I was in a, a couple of bands. I was in a uh, a band called Jimmy Stewart and the Christian Airs. We were a Christian band, uh, but and people categorized us sort of as the forerunner of the contemporary Christian bands, which came on in the seventies. And um, I sang for a while in a duo with my sister. We did what people called hippie Christian music, and uh, when I was younger, and then I, I played in a series, lead guitar in a series of church bands, and um, played with friends, and sort of went away from it for a while. I was in radio all during this time, so it's something I was, I, I was, you know, doing both things. And a few years ago, I decided, you know, with technology progressing the way it had, I started trying to record some of my own stuff. I'd written songs through the years, and I'd gone in and cut demos, and these were things that we were trying to pitch to other people without a whole lot of success. So it's just something I've done basically all my life. I've either played or written or produced um, music of ever since I was about 15 years old. But I, I got my first guitar when I was seven. Well, that's very cool, Jim. Now, now you play all the instruments on these recordings. Am I correct there? That is correct. So some of the drum packages are in the, in, in the program that I used, but whenever I didn't like what I heard, I simply uh, either just played the drums myself or plugged in the keyboard and played the drum sounds that way. But uh, everything you hear on there uh, is, is, fortunately or unfortunately, all that's me. Well, that's very cool. I, I like your music a lot. And, and well, thank you. I appreciate that. Coming from you, I consider that a compliment. Thank well, you so much. Well, thank you. I, you know, I'm not sure if, if, if it has anything to do with the fact that I was a big fan of yours back in your, your radio days. I miss hearing you on the air, man. Well, I appreciate that. And every now and then I still run into someone who, uh, who remembers. And uh, as a matter of fact, I did that today, as a matter of fact. I was... Uh, Coming back uh, through Atmore, Alabama, and stopped off to have something to eat at the restaurant. And my friend that was with me mentioned that I'd been on the radio and dropped my name. And uh, she said she remembered the name. And so I thought, you know, now that's two people, you and my mother. So <laughs> we, uh, so that was kind of nice, though. Well, that's very cool. You know, I, I was, um, I listened to you quite a lot at at various stations. But w which one would you say, if you want to say, what was your favorite one to work at? It's it's a toss up really because through the years as I was evolving as a jock, uh, you know I was going through different formats. Uh, I really enjoyed the time I spent at WBSR in Pensacola. I was there three separate times from about 1970 to about 1985. Uh, the time at WHBQ in Memphis was uh, was was wonderful. That was sort of a dream come true for me. I worked at a station called Magic 100 FM in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, for a couple of years. I was music director there and did middays and did evenings. Really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed Louisville as a town. In fact, I came very close to settling there permanently. And the last three years I was on the air, I was working over at WKRG-FM, or you know, what had been formerly known as G100 in Mobile, and uh, there were some good people there, and I really enjoyed that. So they, there was something special at just about every stop. Now, I've talked to a few people through the years that have worked in radio, at some of the stations that I've worked at and all. And many of them, when they reflect back to their early days in radio, they say that the WKRP in Cincinnati show is very accurate. Would, would you say that? I would say that, and I've been fortunate to know 
sort of peripherally some of the people who were associated with that show. And I know there are several of the episodes, uh, most uh, probably the most famous being the, the infamous uh, turkey drop from the helicopter <laughs> on Thanksgiving that was based on an incident that supposedly occurred at WQXI in Atlanta. And Hugh Wilson, who was the producer of the show and the creator of the show, had strong radio ties and put a lot of uh, stuff that had actually happened into some of those episodes. So there was uh, there was a lot of true stuff, if you knew what to look for, that was hidden in that show. Wow, that's very cool to hear. I never would have known that. I mean, that was pretty outrageous, the uh, the turkey episode. Yeah, no one knew they could, couldn't fly. <laughs> and they were dropping them out of helicopters. Indeed. Well, I tell you what, I have a, a tune queued up, one of the new ones that you just sent me called Open Road. Can can you tell me anything about that one and what any plans may be for it? Well, I go, uh, thank you for asking. It's uh, it's a tune that uh, I uh, I sort of, it's sort of a mood piece, and when I wrote it, it, uh, it, it I was just simply trying to create a song that would give you an atmosphere of being in the car at night, maybe with the top down on a cool evening and the, and the radio or, or your, your, you know, your CD player going and you listening to your favorite music and you're with someone who's very special to you and just hit the open road and just just go and just just enjoy it. Then I did a, a video for the song uh, a couple of years ago for my YouTube channel, which is called Jim's Radio Music, and um, I, the, the story that began coming together when I started doing the video was of a man who was going home, and uh, that was sort of the theme of the video, and it featured some stuff that I shot at some family reunions and traveling and various things along the way so uh and, and it worked quite well both ways but it was uh it was a song that basically started out i had heard another tune that had uh, a percussion intro that just kept building and building and building and i sort of wanted to do something around that and so you'll notice that it, it starts out that way and then it just it, it continues to build until you get up into the melody and the groove, and uh, then it just sort of took on a life of its own after that. That's very cool. Well, I'm going to play it now. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend and a radio guy that I idolized for a lot of years, here's a tune that I, I think this is an exclusive. Am I right, Jim? Uh, yeah, no one has. Uh, this was cut. I cut this a couple of years ago with the idea of getting a, uh, a second CD together, and this is a project that never that never came about uh it, it may still it may still happen i'm really not sure but uh it was it was designed to be the title cut of a new cd so i appreciate you playing it well, very cool and i as a fan i want to say you need to finish that new cd <laughs> well thank you so much here's jim golden in open road on radio free pensacola <laughs> 